Dangerous conditions this morning, even more dangerous than normal. Kilauea continuing to unleash its wrath on Hawaii's Big Island. The volcano's lava is now creeping in on a major power plant. Cara Finstrom is here with the latest. Cara? Steps are being taken this morning to protect that plant. We're going to have more on that in a minute. But first, we want to give viewers a closer look at some of this video, which has been feeding in all morning long. This is another fissure that has been spewing up molten lava. We have been watching the fiery flow for hours. It is in the area of Pahoa. Geologists say this cycle of eruption is among the worst events in a century involving one of the world's most active volcanoes. Now, as we mentioned, some of the lava flow is threatening a geothermal plant. It was built to harness energy from this volcano. Now the flow, though, is edging in on the plant's property. Earlier this month, concerned workers removed 50,000 gallons of a flammable liquid gas that was stored at the site. They are racing at this point to shut down the wells. An emergency management leader says if lava seeps into them, there could be an uncontrolled release of dangerous gases. At the same time, the flow has overtaken houses and cars. 1,700 people have fled their homes within the last two weeks. A CBS camera crew spoke with one of the holdouts. As long as the wind is blowing in the direction that it's been blowing for the last two weeks, except for one or two days, it's taking all the gas that way. One of the other threats residents are dealing with is called lays. When the lava flow hits the ocean, it creates a dangerous stew of hot steam, tiny glass particles, and hydrochloric acid, which is poisonous and burns on contact. Experts warn a lays cloud can travel 15 miles. They say all this is evidence the eruption has evolved in stress. There's still the potential for higher fountains, more lava flows. The flows are in a small, roughly 10 square mile rural area in the southeast Puna district, but they're having an impact on tourism all across the big island. Tourists and residents have been asked to stay away from that southeast coast, and some cruise ships have canceled stops on the big island. Yes. Hotel rooms also uh, not being filled, so we're talking about millions of dollars uh, lost as far as tourism. And of course, this is still going on. Yeah, and yeah. a lot of people from LA go to Hawaii on for vacation, especially during okay. the summer, so we'll see what happens.